Hello? Hello, hello. Hello? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our English class. Welcome you all. It's a great uh, pleasure to have you here in our class this day. Welcome you all. We have some students here, uh, Elizabeth, Veronica, Joanna, and Macy join us uh, this time. Yeah, thanks a lot. And also you connected very early, exactly the time for our English class. And um, there are valuable details that we are going to study today in the class. And overall, that we have a short time to practice. First of all, I expected that you had a great time. So I just want to ask you, how are you? Tell me, uh, are you okay? Everything is fine? Tired, sleepy, positive? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, yes. How are you? Good. How, you? how was your day? Good? Good. Good. Okay, thank you. Uh, someone else who joined us? Uh, hi, Maisie. How are you today? More or less, teacher, with pain in the back, in the neck, please. Oh, a backache. Oh. So you had a bad cake. Oh, I understand. I know that could be hard. So I understand. Okay, someone else would like to share your experiences today. Someone else? Okay, I would just want to ask you this day, how was your, how was your day? Was good, was bad, positive? So share your experience. Someone, we are 13 right now. A ver, ¿cómo ha estado su día, estudiantes? My day, it was very good because I, I was be ha be happy and I am, I got yo. And I was shared with my um, workmate. Thank you so much, Miguel. So you, you were very happy uh, and you shared with your workmates, with your colleagues. That's okay. So thank you so much for sharing your uh, experiences today. Okay, let's start today and also I just want to give some information. Como sabemos, ya estamos por culminar nuestro, nuestro módulo, pre-intermediate. Entonces es importante pues que podamos completar lo que es la información, eh, los ejercicios que están en la plataforma, ya que tienen que estar completados al 100%. Eh, recuerden de que al terminar el curso, ¿verdad? Se les enviará a través de mensaje como está anteriormente, las fechas para la preinscripción. 
Entonces, para que usted esté pendiente a través de su correo y pueda accesar a lo que es el siguiente módulo que viene. Entonces, para que usted esté pendiente, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerda de que pues estamos terminando esta semana y siempre hay una semana de, de espera para los trámites y todo lo demás. Entonces, pues sí esté pendiente y sí, lo importante, ¿verdad? Que pueda completar eh, los ejercicios que se encuentran en la plataforma, que es una prioridad y claro, su participación, asistencia en las clases cotidianas. Entonces, eh, estaríamos culminando esta semana y preparándonos al siguiente paso del siguiente módulo con temas que son diferentes, más avanzados, con temas eh, que cada vez pues usted va adquiriendo mayor información en cuanto al idioma. Muy bien, vamos a dar inicio con nuestro tema. Es un tema que ya lo conocen ustedes, es como un backup. Es para ustedes son estructuras que ya hemos estudiado, pero que es importante tomar en cuenta. A veces se nos olvida o a veces eh, se me olvidó esta regla o I forget this rule. So we are like trying to like uh, think about what rule is that. So if you have questions, you have the opportunity to, to ask questions and also share it here in the class today. Let's start. So we're talking about uh, quantifiers. Do you remember this topic? Do you remember about the quantifiers? Do you know when to use it as a previous knowledge? ¿Se acuerdan en, en qué consisten los quantifiers? No gold. No. No. Okay, uh, as we say in Spanish, um, a quantifier is a word or phrase which is used before a noun to indicate the amount or, qual or quantity. Mm -hmm. And we have some like some, many, a lot of, a few. Our example of quantifiers, quantifiers can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. Entonces, podemos decir de que en el campo de la lingüística se conoce como cuantificadores a toda palabra que denote o indique una cantidad. Por eso es que iremos viendo algunas palabras que nos van indicando cantidades. Por ejemplo, todo, mucho, demasiado, bastante, poco, nada. Entonces, a esto se le llama quantifiers. Porque nos indican una cantidad. They indicate an amount. So, and we have conversations related to quantifiers. First, we will like um, read this conversation and then we will practice in, with our groups. And, but as I told you, one of the, the goals uh, for this part is that you can listen and practice the pronunciation. Try to focus on the pronunciation and the intonation you pronounce, and then also work with the accent. We know that we are not native speakers, but we are in this process to speak English. And um, in the way that we practice more the language, we feel more comfortable and natural to talk. Vamos a practicar la conversación y luego pues lo practicaremos con los grupos. Recuerde, lo que yo quiero acá son dos cosas. Uno, que escuche la pronunciación, trabaje en la pronunciación de las palabras, el acento también, que es que vamos adquiriendo el acento, y también vamos a practicar y aprender vocabulario. Tenemos tres cosas importantes que haremos en este en este proceso así que we will start reading with that so are you ready say yes, yes. perfect I'm so ready. let's read okay we're gonna start the conversation is between two people David and Maria the topic is what's in your office David I got a new office now That's great, congratulations. I need a desk and some cabinets. How many cabinets are there in your office? I think there are four cabinets in my office. And uh, do you have any furniture, furniture in your office? I mean, other than the chair at your desk. Oh yes, um, I got a sofa and two comfortable armchairs. Are there any tables in your office? 
Yes, I got a table in front of the sofa. Is there a computer in your office? Oh, yes, uh, I keep a laptop on my desk next to the phone. Are there any flowers or plants in your office? Yes, there are a few plants near the window. Where's your sofa? The sofa is in front of the window between the two armchairs. Thanks a lot for your help, Janet. This gives me a good idea of how to arrange my office. My pleasure. Good luck with your decorating. Okay, let's try it again. And also, eh, también puede ir como subrayando alguna palabra que le quede duda cómo se pronuncia. Por ejemplo, usted ve la palabra eh, furniture, ¿verdad? Que esta se pronuncia furniture. Ahí como, de la, o la palabra, por ejemplo, confortable. En inglés se dice comfortable, comfortable. Entonces hay palabras ahí que son claves en su pronunciación. Usted puede ir subrayando algunas. Lo vamos a escuchar una vez más para que usted lo pueda tomar en cuenta y lo practique. What's in your office? I got a new office now. That's great. Congratulations. I'll need a desk and some cabinets. Uh, how many cabinets are there in your office? I think there are four cabinets in my office. And do you have any furniture in your office? I mean, other than a chair at your desk? Oh, yes, uh, I got a sofa and two comfortable armchairs. Are there any tables in your office? Yes, I got a table in front of the sofa. Is there a computer in your office? Yes. I keep the laptop on my desk next to the phone. Are there any flowers or plants in your office? Yes, there are a few plants near the window. Where's your sofa? The sofa is in front of the window between the two armchairs. Thanks a lot for your help, Janet. Uh, this gives me a good idea of how to arrange my office. My pleasure. Good luck with your decorating. So you can see here um, some examples about the, the structures that we are studying right now. Como sabemos, y lo dijimos en la clase, pues es importante conocer un poquito acerca de los quantifiers, como las estructuras nos van dando como una referencia. That's why it's important to check as a reference. Eh, questions about vocabulary or pronunciation. I think it's like no so challenging for you to work with that. But we will try. Eh, questions? My question, teacher. Um, la palabra confortable, como dijo que se decía. Okay, la palabra es comfortable. 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 Yes. Okay, comfortable. Thank Com you. Comfortable. Yes, that's right. It's a very similar word in Spanish. Someone else. Me too. Yes. More equations. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Pensé que decía voluntario. Ah, okay, okay. Pero bueno. se refería si había alguna otra, otra duda. Yeah, in, in doubt or equations. Yes, that's right. Don't worry. Well, so we're going to take a short time to practice this conversation with the partner. So we will uh, open the breakup rooms. And as I told you, first, work in the pronunciation and also the accent and vocabulary too. So let's see how many groups we have. Okay, so we'll work with six groups. Remember, you can switch with your partners. One is A, then is B. So you can uh, also practice here. Let's go.
Well, um, I am David. Katherine, ¿quién quiere ser? María. No sé. What is your office? Have you got a new office now? That's great. Congratulations. I'll need a desk and some cabinets. How many cabinets are there in your office? I think there are four cabinets in my office. And did you have any furniture in your office? I mean, other than the chair at your desk? Oh, yes. I give you got a sofa and two comfort, comfort, aquí no lo, no, no, no sé cómo dijo que pronunciaba, con, no digo que era pronunciation, Comfortable. Quiero ver. Comfortable. Ah, comfortable. Thanks, teacher. Ay, comfortable. Comfortable. No, yo me perdí. Quiero ver. Comfortable are, are child. Are there any tables in your office? Comfortable. Yes, I give you go a table in front of the spa. Is there a computer in your office? Oh yes, I keep a laptop, a laptop on my desk next to the phone. Are there any flowers or plants in the office? Yes. There are a few plants near the window. Where's your sofa? Uh, the sofa is in front in the window between the two our child. Thanks a lot of, for your help, Janet. This gives me a goal idea of how to arrange my office. My pleasure. Comfortar. Es cierto, verdad? O cómo se pronuncia ahí? Comfortar. Armar. Si se apaga la cámara, tal vez así se escucha mejor. Creo que la cámara ocupa mucho internet. Yo escucho medio, no entiendo mucho. Me digo que yo sería ahora María y usted David. Ah, sí, yo te escucho. Yes, yes. Well, um, what is what in your office? I we got a new office now. Yeah, it's great. 
I'll need a desk and some cabinets. How many cabinets are there in your office? I think there are four cabinets in my office. And do you have any furniture in your office? I mean other than the chairs at your desk. Oh, yes. I love a sofa and to comfort. Are there any tables in your office? Yes, I got a table in front of the sofa. Is there a computer in your office? Oh, yes, I keep a laptop. Oh, my desk next to the, to the office. Are there any flowers or plants in your office? The, yes, there are a few plants near the window. Where's your sofa? The sofa is in front of the window. You Thanks a lot for your help, Janet. This gives me a good idea of how to arrange my office. My place to do with your decor place. Sorry. How are you, teacher? <laughs> It was okay. I like it. Yeah. It's about practice, but it was great. Congratulations. Someone is there, right? No, listen. Okay, almost all of us we are here. Well, let's continue with the rest of the practice. And congratulations to everybody who participated actively. I know that some of some of you are getting some troubles with the internet connection. It's uh, something that it has happened in different levels, but it's clear. So the most important is that we have this class recorded, so we can actually. Um, Watch the class or some parts that you can see that. Okay, so let's begin today with the, our presentations. And today we will study the following topic. We will study the quantifiers and we have some of them. 
that I want you to check. First, we have much, many, and a lot of. There is a difference between the three of them. So, for example, there are two that um, one is related to things that we can count and things that we cannot count. As we say in Spanish, comfortable and an uncomfortable noun. Comfortable nouns are things that we can count individually. For example, a car, or let you say cars. How many cars? Five cars, okay, because we say many. One, two, three, four, five. You can count them individually. But when we say much, eh, we are talking about something that is uncountable. Much pollution, for example. Much pollution. Mucha contaminación. Entonces, ese mucho es algo que no se puede contar. Es incontable. And also, we have a lot of. A lot of can be used for a countable and an uncountable noun because it's a general word to, that expressed that a uh, big amount. Like we can say a lot of, bastante contaminación, a lot of pollution, bastante, bastantes carros, a lot of cars. Entonces vamos eh, viendo como la diferencia de los tres. And let's see another one. We can see here the rules. So much, many, a lot. We use much and many, mostly in equation and negative, like much is used with un, un uncountable uncountable nouns and many is used with countable plural nouns is there much rice left hay mucho arroz de sobra o que lo han dejado we haven't got much rice left we haven't got much rice is much no dice mucho y rice que sabemos que es no es contable no se puede contar and he has got many books has he got many books? Yes, he has, or no, he hasn't. He hasn't got many books. So we can use in the first countables and an uncountable nouns. This is the first. Equations? I think it's a backup for, for you guys. No, okay, thanks. Let's continue. And then we have another one when we are talking about a lot of, a lot of. In affirmative sentences, we normally use a lot of and lots of. Eh, uno lleva, está precedido por una, por una vocal. En este caso, es un artículo indefinido. La A, eh, esta A que está ahí, es un artículo indefinido. Por ejemplo, a car, un carro. Pero no sabemos qué carro es. A student. Un estudiante, pero es indefinido porque no sabemos quién es el estudiante. Eh, a lot of and lots of. We used a lot of and lots of with both countable and an uncountable nouns and plural nouns. Es decir, podemos usar a lot of o lots of. Con la A o sin la A, ambos tienen un significado similar. Eh, we got a lot of milk. Oh, he's got a lot of or oh, plenty of books. Not normally he's got many books. En este caso, eh, cuando decimos a lot of, nos dice bastante. No nos dice la cantidad. No sabemos qué cantidad es, pero sí sabemos que es mucho. Entonces, eh, igual cuando decimos plenty of, la palabra plenty of significa bastante. Para que usted diga, hey, yo he escuchado la palabra plenty of. Well, we have, a, we have plenty of bread. Tenemos bastante pan, uh, plenty of water, bastante. Entonces, that is plenty of. O decir a lot of. Ambos tienen un significado parecido. So this is like uh, the most common about structures. Um, esos son como los, los más importantes de esa estructura. Veamos eh, cómo nos quedaría ya en una práctica. John doesn't have... ¿Qué palabra creen ustedes que podríamos utilizar? Much, many, and a lot of. Many. Money. Le habíamos explicado en una clase cuando hablábamos de money y cuando hablábamos de dollars. Vamos a ver si se acuerdan. ¿Cuál sería? Eh, John doesn't have... 
Much, much money, exactly. Much Acuérdense money. que sí. el dinero es una palabra incontable. Sí. Cuando hablamos de dólares, euros, ahí sí ya se pueden contar, porque ya puedo decir un euro, dos euros, tres euros. Entonces la palabra en sí es incontable. There is gold in the back. There is what? Many. The, what? Many. Many gold. Se puede contar el oro. Oh. How much? Sí. Okay, there is much gold in the bag. Hay mucho, much. hay mucho oro en en la bolsa. No nos indica cuánto, solo sabemos que hay mucho. Eh, a lot of gold, bastante oro. Mm -hmm. in a, okay, could be. Mm -hmm. And much could be the the yeah. The, the top, right? Good. I don't have birds in the sky. I don't have. How mm -hmm. much birds in the sky? Mm, ¿Se pueden contar los pájaros? Much. Ahí dice en el, en el cielo. Se pueden contar. Son contables. Entonces, I don't have. Many. Many. O, oh, um, yeah, maybe the context. Aunque realmente el contexto no es tan amigable, it's so friendly, pero many podría ser. Pero para saber cuántos hay en todo, los, todo el cielo. No, ahí se refiere al, al momento. Por eso está el Ay, signo de admiración, bien. right? Ah, por eso está el signo ahí de, you know, wow, eh, I don't have, yeah, a lot, many birds in the sky es en ese momento. There are, there aren't cars in the streets. Mm -hmm. Much, much. Se pueden contar los carros, ¿o no se puede? Sí. Entonces, ajá, entonces tiene que ser many cars, because we can count them. Are there any... Many. Many. Mm -hmm. Okay. Many apples on the tr on the trees on the tree. Yes, we can count them. Number six. Jane spends spends a lot of many a lot of. Puede ser una y la otra. Eh, much much. Uh -huh. Much money at the shops. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. 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 And number seven. Do you many, have many much. much bread? Yes, much. ya que el pan es incontable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. que no se refiere a las rebanadas, sino que a, la, a una cantidad de pan. El pan en general. Ya si usted dijera piezas, ya se convierte en contable. Okay. And are there Children on, on the beach. Hey, are there many? Uh, many children on the beach? Okay, could be. Yeah, could be. Yes, that's right. Ya que children se puede contar. Es, una, es un plural irregular, pero sabemos que, se, que son niños, se pueden contar. Y la última, we are early. We have... Much, much, much. Mm -hmm. or a lot of exactly we have uh we are early we have a lot of time or oh, yeah that's right much time okay so let's continue with the next topics that we are developing we also have a little a little is used to say, uh, to express a positive idea with singular uncountable noun. It means a small, a small amount, but some. Es como decir un poquito, right? Este lo ocupamos por lo general para referirnos a, a cosas que no podemos contar. Si nos vamos al chat, quiero ver, vamos a ver. Wow, is it? Check, check. Hmm. 
Um, para decir azúcar, un poquito de azúcar, ¿cómo sería? A little sugar. Ajá. Un poquito de sal. A little sal. Uh -huh. Un poquito de agua. A little water. A little water. Yeah, so we are using um, a little, little pollution. So little es como para decir que es no contable. Entonces sabemos que they had a little money to spend. A little money. Tenemos un poquito de dinero para gastar. Como lo dice el ejemplo. Not much or almost. O almost nothing. Eh, esa también es otra, otra palabra que podemos utilizar. Eh, veamos el chat. Almost nothing. ¿Qué significa casi nada? Look at the chat. We have, almost, we have almost nothing. Casi nada. Like we can see in the example. And also we continue with the, um, with the following. That we have a few. And you can see that a few eh, cambia un poquito la estructura porque ya nosotros lo podemos contar sin ningún problema. Como usted sabe, eh, esa estructura es bastante, bastante común. We can see this few. We use few to express a positive idea. So you can check here. A positive idea with plural countable nouns. It means a small number, but some. Um, all she wanted was a few moments. Entonces, vamos a poner acá en el chat. A few. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir unos pocos carros? Ok. Unos pocos estudiantes. Eh, pocas manzanas. A few apples. apples. Uh -huh. Unos pocos libros. A few books. A few books. books. Uh -huh. Unos pocos recibos. A few... No sé cómo se dice recibo. Receipt. Yeah, receipt. Receipt. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces es. ¿Cómo se dice recibos? Receipt. Receipt. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ahí está, no sé si. No sé si lo ven en el chat. Let's see, look at this one. No. I can see them. few books. No. Uh, receipts. 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 Oh, let's see. Teacher, no le escuché lo que estaba diciendo. Eh, bien, este, no le había quitado aquí el, el mute. Vale, y hasta emocionado explicándoles aquí. Oh, mire. Vale, este, veamos algunos ejemplos de los quantifiers. Y vemos el primero. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el primero? Volunteer. Sí. Yes. Sí. Sí, they have had a lot, a lot, lot of homework in the mathematics recently. Uh, recently. Recently. Recently, yes. Recently. Recently. They have a lot of, y vemos que el primero no es a lot, sino que es lot of. Puede lot ser of. también a lot of. Entonces, ahí usaron el siguiente. ¿Y por qué estamos utilizando a lot of? Porque estamos hablando de homework. 
Y homework es una palabra incontable. Number two. Volunteer. How much um, time do you need to finish the work? Okay. Uh, ¿Por qué es much? Eh, porque es tiempo, estamos hablando, sí. Time. Y no se puede contar, me imagino. Sí. The time is uncountable. Exactly. So we cannot count individually the time is abstract. Yes. Number number three. There are, there are too many students in the library. Exactly. So students countable. Number four. Have you visited any foreign countries? Okay, so have you visited any foreign countries? Eh, in este caso, any es para preguntas en general. ¿Has visitado algunos países extranjeros? Entonces, any es como algunos. Pero este any se ocupa más que todo para forma negativa o para eh, preguntas. Ok, thank you. Ok, number five. Eh, although. ¿Quién nos ayuda con la cinco? Me. Adriana, also he yeah. is very ill. He didn't take any medicine. Ok, entonces eh, vemos que aparece nuevamente any, como les decía, any se ocupa para tanto para pregunta o para forma negativa, para referirnos a algunos. Although he's very ill, he didn't take any medicines. En este caso, pues, aunque él, es, él está muy enfermo, él no tomó ninguna medicina. Entonces, la palabra any, aquí es como no tomó ninguna. Entonces, usamos el any. Pero en anterior, como era pregunta, decía, have you visited any foreign countries? ¿Has visitado a algunos o algún país extranjero? En este caso, foreign countries. Significa países extranjeros. Has visitado algunos. Entonces usamos la palabra any. Ya que any se ocupa tanto para pregunta, para forma negativa. Una cuestión. Uh -huh. eh, hay un dice any medicina. También se puede ocupar como. Uy, me quedé sin carta. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Teacher. I had a question. Uh, in the in the question four, is is possible to use some someone for for him countries? You say some. Mm -hmm. Have no. you visited some uh, foreign countries? You someone. No, someone is alguien. No. Alguien. Uh, some. Uh -huh. Yeah, podemos usar some. Pero eh, any hace la misma función y okay. nos queda mejor any porque any va más enfocado a pregunta y son se ocupa más que todo, eh, bueno, se ocupan ambos, pero el, el fuerte es el afirmativo. Uh, some books, some cars, some students. Uh -huh. Pero se ocupan ambos. Thank you. All right. And... Few people know as much about linguistics as John Dust. Few, uh, plural, para personas, y much, linguistics. It is in uncountable. Number seven, um, they say little knowledge. Knowledge, el sustantivo, y little, pues sabemos que es incontable. He's having a lot of troubles. Muchos problemas, a lot of troubles. Or a lot of trouble. And number nine, I spent most of my time reading novels. Most of. La mayoría de mi tiempo. Entonces podemos usar también la mayoría. Es, 
también un, un quantifiers. Recuerden que los quantifiers son aquellas palabras que nos indican una cantidad. Por eso cuando decimos mucho, poco, bastante, la mayoría, son quantifiers. He knows a little English. Ah, entonces eh, no voy a decir yo, teacher, I know few English, porque few es para cosas contables. Entonces, a little English. Ok, let's work with the following exercises. Vamos con el siguiente ejercicio. And let me see. Vamos a poner en práctica un poquito nuestra estructura. Y pues usted en este momento pues va a elegir la mejor respuesta. Complete these sentences using the following words. Some, any, much, many, a lot, a little, and a few. So you will read the statements. And also you will um, select the best answer. To do it like more practical, what I want you to do is to do it in small groups. So I will open the breakup rooms and in a briefly way, you will share the answers with your partners, okay? We have five minutes to do it. So let's open the breakup rooms and then we come back to share the answers together. Let's go. El 
there. They are in. Saber qué quiere decir. Ship. Ship. Comiendo. No logro ver yo el cuadro. Dice. Yo no lo veo. Ajá. Ya barato. 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 Sí. Ellos. Barato. Está hablando de tiempo. Está hablando de. Ajá. Y. La siguiente. Sí, creo que sí, ¿verdad? Sería how much. En... Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces sería más ahorita como el file. We have. Eh, como es de tiempo, es um, que era el tiempo es incontable, dijo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces es much. Sí, how much sería. Y esa otra es. Y so beautiful summary. When we went to. Eh, ahí creo que sería N sería a few a few creo a few sí porque está diciendo nosotros vimos algunas escenas sí creo que sí verdad ajá algunas escenas algunas Bonita y... escena, ¿verdad? Ajá. Creo no, que sí. Creo yo, ah, pero no estoy seguro. <ríe> yeah. Ajá, es igual que Jafio. Y la otra dice, there are uh, shops near the university. Ajá. Um, are, uh, algunas sería, ¿verdad? Tiendas cerca de la universidad. There are... Uh, eh. Sí, yo creo que sí. Bueno, ahorita voy a ver. No sería la de la la Hay unas pequeñas tiendas cerca de la universidad. ¿O no? Uh -huh. ¿O sería... Uh, bueno. Quiero ver si Ajá, es... igual como usted ha dicho que sí. ¿O sería... How, there are a, a much? Hay muchas tiendas cerca de la much. universidad. Ajá. A much. Sí, porque no especifica eh, cuántas hay, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ahora iríamos otro. con una otra. It's very quiet. Get, 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 get. It's very quiet. Como tranquilo. Algo así. Dice que de Garens, como que no hay mucha gente aquí hoy. Entonces sería um, a, lo, eh, a lot of. No. A lot of. Sí, verdad. Voy a ver, voy a, voy a ver si sí, sí, así. Sí. Okay, well, um, because of the time, we will share some possible answers that we can share here. 
So I want you to go on in the chat. And uh, we're gonna start with the first one. According to the exercises, the first one is the writing. Uh, the plural in this case will be many car parks in the central. Yes. Number two, it is now expensive here. There aren't any cheap in this case. Uh, como decíamos que para el negativo, para decir que no hay, entonces decíamos there aren't any cheap restaurants. Entonces no hay eh, restaurantes baratos, ninguno. Entonces usamos el any. Ya que lo usábamos como fuerte para preguntas y forma negativa. The number three is uh, Liverpool has a lot of great nightclubs. Entonces, podríamos utilizar many o podríamos utilizar a lot of. Entonces, quedémonos con a lot of. Y podemos usar many también. Tendríamos esas dos opciones in these structures. And number four, hurry up. We only have a little time. Para que usted vaya comparando sus respuestas. So we say a little because it's like uh, un uncountable. And next, number five. So we saw some beautiful scenery. La palabra es scenery. Entonces usamos some. some. Scenery when we went to. So. La primera. Excuse me? La primera. Many. Many. Look at the chat. Look at the, in the chat. We are like updating. Yes. Um, number six is uh, there are a few shops, unos pocos shops near the university. Podemos utilizar a few. Unos pocos. Number seven is um, it's quiet. It's very quiet. There aren't many people here today. Entonces, eh, como hablamos de personas, hablamos acerca de people. Y la última, there are some expensive new. Entonces usamos some para decir algunos. Some expensive new uh, flats next to the river. Ok, entonces hemos hecho como un pequeño backup related to the countables. Eh, mañana pues que culminamos, eh, vamos a hacer un review de los temas más importantes y eh, recuerden de que terminando pues el día de mañana completen los ejercicios que les hacen falta de la plataforma tiene que estar completa y posteriormente se van a comunicar a través de correos eh, para darles la información de la renovación del nuevo módulo, las fechas, así como lo hicieron con esta anterior, entonces solo eh, recordar ese requisito de completarla toda eh, mañana con nuestra clase y pues posteriormente eh, quedar pendientes para la, para la información que les den de parte de Insafor e Inglés Corporativo. Así puedes estar ahí atentos. Siempre queda una semana para la tramitación y todo lo demás. Entonces, mientras tanto, seguimos esperando. Ok, thank you. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure. Have a beautiful night. I see you. Have a good time. Thank you, too. A lot. Good night, Thanks everybody. a lot. Good night, you too. Thanks a lot. God bless you, Jason. God bless you too. Bye bye. Bye bye.